Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16, and it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, and read, No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of the Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere, I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. The gods of people here forbear. None of these shall fail. Meaning these prophecies that kicking into high gear, Israel, none of these shall fail. Nothing. Everything is going to come to pass. Everything Israel war. The love of many wet and cold home invasions. I mean, anarchy. Sedition among men. Evils. Meaning bad times, don't talk about bad times, don't talk about bad times. Lord Yahweh Shai coming through with the chariots, which what they even call UFOs or spaceships. The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, everything that you read in the scriptures, none of it will fail. All right, let's get it again. Isaiah chapter 34, because the Lord said, I'm not slack. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Now, we might say we're going to do some, then it turns around that we never do it. But when Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, when they say something, you can best believe it's going to happen. All right? And though it tarry, what? Wait for it, right? Yeah, you already know. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Remember, search the scriptures, for in them you find life. The book of the Lord is the Bible. No, no other book. Now, so just stop it. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. It's, it's not the Quran. We were going to keep going over this. It's not the Quran. It's not the Egyptian book of the dead. It's not the 42 negative laws of Miyak. All right. It's not the book of the Mormons. No, the book of the Lord is the Bible, right? The King James Version, right? And read, read. Blesses he that readeth. We say wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom with all thy getting. Get understanding. And you need teachers for that. You, you most definitely need teachers to understand the Bible, okay? No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies, we're supposed to be blowing that trumpet. Sound of the alarm. That war cry, none of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies, none shall want her made. The Bible stands alone. It's the, it's the only book that stood the test of time. And, and, and basically, it's the only book that has prophecies in it. Basically, the Lord telling you what's going to happen before it even happens. <laughs> Just like you're doing now. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit have gathered them. So the spirit of the Lord, you no know saying, is gathering the elect of the nation of Israel through this word being preached, right? And the Lord said, none of these shall fail. Let's get something right quick. Lord said, none of these shall fail. As a matter of fact, still in the book of Isaiah. Don't even go nowhere yet. Isaiah, let's just get this. None of these shall fail, right? That, that's, that's what I might call this. I might call this video, none of these shall fail. Isaiah chapter 54. Let's just get this. Isaiah chapter 54. Let's get this. Everything that's written over this Bible is going to come to pass. The children of Israel, the elect. Being delivered out of Babylon and throughout the four corners of the earth by way of spaceships, all that's going to come to pass. No one will be able to stop what is written in the Bible. No one. Not not Shlizy E, not two thirds, not these heathens. No one, man. All right. Let's get this Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the Smith, aka the scientist. The modern day Smith are the scientists that blew up the coals in the fire. The Lord gave them the technology to be able to split the atom. And you ain't got to believe us. It's all good. Well, look, while you saying you don't believe in the words of the Bible, everything that the Bible prescribes and says is happening in real time as I speak, right? As we speak, right? It says, um, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. You see? It says, um, and I have created the waster. 
to destroy. What is that waster? The missiles. The Lord put the technology in the scientist's head, a.k.a. the Smith's head, to split the atom and bring forth nuclear capability. Then that's the power of the Lord. That's, that's what you call true power. He said he created the waster to destroy. So World War III is going to happen. This, this waster was created to destroy Israel. And, it, and the scriptures tell you it do hurt. It do hurt. Remember, none of these shall fit. Everything that I'm reading, it, look, it won't fall. It won't fall and it won't fail. All right? Everything is going to come to pass. Let's just, let's get, let's, let's get, look, remember, none of these shall fail. Let's get something else. Just get something else. Just flowing in the spirit, burning some early morning oil. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Lord willing, you're edified. This is Amos chapter 9. Let's get this. Amos chapter 9, verse 8, and it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, the chariots, the UFOs, the spaceships, are upon the civil kingdom, a.k.a. America. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Remember, he said he created the waster, right? The missiles and the chariots, what they even call UFOs, simultaneously is going to be zapping this place. You know what I'm saying? To powder. All right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's why the scripture says it's high time to wake out of sleep. Because salvation is nearer than what we believe. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So it's all about that remnant. <clears throat> so like it's all about that remnant and the lord said look you, you know the sword is coming go out there and give him one so you know i gotta get this so like you bear with me let's get this <clears throat> ezekiel none of these shall fail that's what i'm gonna call the video lord willing ezekiel let's get 33 Cause we we know what's coming. It says a prudent man seeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. This is Ezekiel chapter thirty-three, verse one. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword which represents destruction upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman." If when he seeth the sword, a.k.a. destruction, come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And that's exactly what we do. Starting up with the elder um, apostles, a great millstone slash elder bishops, a great millstone and the men on down. That's exactly what we do. We blow the trumpet. Regardless of people here for a bit, the scriptures tell us that they heard the trumpet. They heard the sound. Pursuant to Romans, the 10th chapter, everybody's hearing the sound. Everybody's hearing the trumpet, but but it's always the majority of the people that don't never take heed to the trumpet. Remember that. That remnant is going to take heed to the sound of the trumpet, all right? The majority of the people never takes heed to the sound of the trumpet until it's too late. So the majority of the people is going to be too late, all right? Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take if not one, and you don't take heed to what the word is saying, you, you don't believe in it, you think it's farce, you think it's nonsense, you think it's crap, right? Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take if not one, if the sword come, if destruction come, which, look, which is coming, and take of him or her away, his or her blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet. He heard the warning. He heard the destruction was coming. He heard of the mayhem, the clash wars, civil wars, race wars, economic wars, gender wars. You see, they heard all that. Concentration camps, FEMA camps, the hour of temptation, the ushering in of the M-A-R-K to the beast that see him. They heard it all, man. And took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he or she that take a warning, that take heed to the one that open up their ears and listen, shall deliver his soul. See how deadly serious it is? See, see how deadly serious it is when it comes to taking heed to this word? The, the Lord ain't playing. The Lord is not playing. Let's get this right quick. None, remember, none of these shall fail. Joel chapter 1. None of these shall fail. Let's get this. Joel chapter 12. 
I mean, Joel chapter 1, Salakia. Joel chapter 1, verse 15. I'm thinking of another scripture, so Salakia. Joel chapter 1, verse 15. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is at hand. And, that, and this is what we sign an alarm for. Because the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction. Do, do you not hear that, Israel? And as a destruction from the Almighty. Shall it come as a destruction? None of these shall fail, man. It's gonna happen. Look, and as a destruction shall it come. But you, but you don't hear that though. Yeah, you know, now that, that's going in one ear and out the other. And like the Lord said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will truly come. It will not tarry. This day is just gonna pop up, man. This is Zechariah. Chapter 14, this day is going to pop up on you Israelites, man, like, like a bat out of hell, man. All right? Like some lightning coming from the skies. Zechariah chapter 14, look, then they shall know that a prophet had been among them. He's going to have to take the, their demise. You see, a whole lot of Israelites being, being put to flight to understand that, right? Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. Remember, none of these shall fail, and this shall be the plague, the missiles. Are known as a plague, right? And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, the His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, will smite, kill all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, a people before us a place. Jerusalem represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and everybody knows that. Don't don't play. Their flesh. This is this is that's how deadly serious is going to be. Their flesh. Remember, he created the waster to destroy. He had the scientists create the waster, aka the missiles, to destroy Israel. To destroy Israel. Terminator Two, Judgment Day, Sarah Connor. You better go watch that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. You see, I'll be back, right? But but when these missiles hit, you ain't coming back. You ain't coming back. You ain't bouncing. You ain't protecting yourself from no missile fire. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can do that? Nuclear fire. Your flesh is going to actually consume away while you're standing on your feet, man. All right? It says their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And look, and this scripture right here don't even scare people. This scripture right here don't even scare people. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Yeah, no, no more talking your crap. No, you, you sure enough ain't going to be mocking in that day. You, you know what you're going to be doing in that day? Trying to get the hell out of Dodge. But then the thing about it, it you ain't nowhere to run. That's the thing about it. Ain't, ain't going to be nowhere to run, man. You can't run from no missile. So, hell, so you see it or you hear it, you're done anyway. If you hear the missile, or, or most definitely, if you see it, you out of there, man. St. Matthew chapter 24. Remember, none of these shall fail. St. Matthew 24 and 6. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Actual wars popping off right now. Talks of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Remember, none of these shall fail. All these things must come to pass, Israel. You can't stop it. You can't wish it away. You can't dream it away. All right? Dream, dream, dream. You can't dream it away. All right? It said it must come to pass. You, you want this place to go out? You look, you want you want to live a peaceful life? You you want freedom? Then this place has to go. All right? You want fresh food? You want you want um you you you, you want to stop being a suspect? Then this place has to go. You want to be counted as somebody? Then this place got to go. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Matter, matter of fact, Salakia, I jump. I jump. For nation shall, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation. Remember, none of these shall fail. A kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. None of these shall fail. A whole lot of people are going to die by way of starvation and pestilences. You see, enough diseases, enough plagues, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And then once again, the Lord said it's going to get so bad. It ain't never got this bad before. Ever. Ever, man. That fire coming? Pfft. And she's, she's, remember, remember, none of these shit fell. Look, I'm right here. I might as well get this right quick. 
Might as well. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This is just get it right quick. Because none of these shall fail. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. And it reads, this know also that in the last days, and we're living in the last days of the last days. We're living in the last days of an age, a society, of, of a rulership. You see, sleazy eat. He's the end of the world and end of an age. And Jacob is the beginning of it. The father, remember, none of these shall fail. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Dangerous, serious, hazardous. And, that, and that's here now. All right. That's here now. But the only thing people think about is June 17th. Which doesn't represent the Hebrew. It's like sometimes that's the day that we were set free. Oh, Lord. Let's get this, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to wrap it up. Let's just get this so I can wrap it up. This is Revelation. Revelation chapter 13. Bear with me. Revelation chapter 13. Let's just hit it. Revelation chapter 13. Because remember, none of these shall fail, right? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and it reads, And he calls of all the elite banking families. Remember, none of these shall fail, Israel. The elite banking family. Look, look, sea hips everywhere. You got sea hips on regular news now. All over the internet. K keep listening to these false prophets you want to. This, this thing is fastly, you know what I'm saying, approaching. I mean, I mean, a whole lot of people getting it in their fingernails. I mean, all kind of videos going viral of this sea hip. But the false prophets keep saying ain't no sea hip. But all you see is see hips. See, see, who are you gonna believe? A person is saying it ain't no sea hips, or the videos showing everybody with sea hips. It's right there in front of your eyes. You ain't gonna be able to. Nah, there ain't no sea hip. Ain't no sea hip. It's video sea hips. See hip video. See hip video. See hip. Ain't no sea hip. Ain't no sea hip. Ain't no sea hip. A thousand videos of sea hips. No, no, ain't no sea hip. Ain't no sea hips. That's a fool right there. That's a fool right there, Israel. Stop listening to these fools. Look, or not, or not, because guess what the scriptures say? Revelation 13, 16, and he calls them all, so everybody, damn it, whether you believe in it or not, you're going to be faced with this decision, a hard decision. A lot of hard decision making is coming in the near future. And he calls them all, all means everybody, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. We break this down all the time, whether you're locked up, whether you ain't locked up, whether you got money, whether you're a bum on the streets, to receive a M-A-R-K, a karagma, a device being inserted inside of you, right? In their right hand or in their forehead. Remember, none of these shall fail and that no man or woman might buy or sell. See, without this C hip, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, and everything's digital. Everything's look gradualism. They're getting ready to do away with the credit cards too. They they slowly but surely doing away with the cash. That's that's pretty much all about credit cards. Then some come, they're going to do away with that credit card, and they're going they're going to insert that C hip in you. None of these shall fail. If it's written up in the Bible, it's going to happen, man. All right. Everything is going to happen. And it calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M A R K a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And then this, you got these, you got these false prophets coming from the M A R K. You know what I'm saying written of in the scripture right here, Revelation thirteen sixteen, is sleeping with a white woman. So, so you mean tell me we gotta we're gonna get to the line? We go through this all the time. We're gonna get to the line. You know what I'm saying? And, and right before we can enter the grocery store, right before we can enter our job, or right before we can enter the clinic, or wherever you got to go, the movie theater, get on a plane, me and tell me, the dude going to say, uh, where, where's your white woman at? And you got to go lay down with her. Well, you, 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 let, that, let that sink in, Israel. Let, let that make sense. They said they say sleeping with a white woman. So if, this, so if that's the case, what about the women then? So the women, right before they get to the, um, get the enter into the store, they got to go find them a white woman too? And sleep with her. So, so, so how much sense that make? It, it, it don't make no sense. All right? Oh, it's an embargo. It's an embargo. It's John 3, 16. It's sin. And all this other lying nonsense. But you have it your way. Because you ain't going to be able to buy a sale without it, man. All right? 
You see, and that no man might buy, sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is going to come upon the whole earth. Let me just get that right quick. None of, none of these shall fail. Let's get that right quick. Revelation third chapter. And my phone chimed in. And Apostle Ramla going live right quick. Let's get this last scripture over with. This is on um, Revelation chapter three. Verse 10, let's get this. Revelation chapter 10, verse, I mean, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, see, he that endureth it to the end, the same shall be saved. Just got to suffer through whatever the Lord, you know what I'm saying, got coming our way. We got to suffer through it. Lord's willing, right? Abaratas are right. I also, so, so, the, so the men that went back into the world, you threw. The men that stopped teaching this word, you threw. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. You got tired of suffering. You got tired of teaching the word. It became a burden. You went back into the world. The Lord said, but but the ones that kept pushing, that kept suffering, because thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is the ushering in of the sea here. You see that digital all that um I said sea here. Um Trying to think of any other cold words because we got to speak in code. You know what I'm saying? That That's pretty much the hour of temptation. I'm saying them issuing in that sea hip. You know what I'm saying? That karagma. In order to buy or sell. The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Look, you didn't take it. You, you didn't receive it. You put your trust and your faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He said he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. To try them that dare. This is a test. It's a try. The biggest test of all. To try them that dwell upon the earth. You yeah, just want to do a quick video of none of these shall fail. You got, you got fire coming. You got class wars, race wars, civil wars, gender wars, a famine. I said that already. Um, wars, war, different wars, different skirmishes. It's just nothing but lawlessness. And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got Sleazy trying to make it mandatory that you take that sea hip. You got Lord Yahweh Shai coming with the chariots. You got the missiles coming. Man, this, thing, this thing get ready to heat up, man. This thing get ready to show, show over. Heat up, Israel. But, but remember, none of these shall fail. Shalom.